There is some unfortunate and rather surprising news about one of the world's oldest mints, the Royal Mint. I'll explain what it is in this video as we explore. Time and technology, they make a lot of changes. Many mints have adapted to some of those changes through time with technology, and the Royal Mint is no stranger to any of those things. But what I'm about to report to you is rather shocking, I think, in some of the changes that are going to be occurring with an exclusive from thisismoney.co.uk is reporting this story, which is, which is incredible. Now, the Royal Mint, uh, after 1,100 years of history, will stop making coins from scratch. I'll explain kind of what that means, that the Royal Mint plans to stop producing coins from scratch at its facility in Wales from December, with staff diverted to mining gold from laptop circuit boards, according to This Is Money. This is the website, the uh, organization. As the oldest company in the United Kingdom, the Royal Mint has been producing coins for more than 1,100 years. But an insider has revealed to them that this is set to come to an end. Now, there's more to this. It's not like they're going to be, it's, it's purchasing blanks. They're going to be purchasing blanks from somewhere else. A practice that the United States Mint has been doing for many, many years. But I do like the idea that, you know, when you buy a, a coin from the Royal Mint, that you are getting uh, something that's been produced right there at its facility in Wales. So it's a little unfortunate they're going to have to outsource some of this stuff. But, you know, that's that's really just part of it. Uh, you've heard that, that about the incentives, and I've reported on this channel about the Royal Mint getting involved in recycling silver, even for silver and gold, for use in jewelry and the like. Uh, but as the oldest company in the U.K., and has been producing coins for more than 1,100 years. And uh, instead of producing its own coins from raw steel or, you know, or the other materials, the Mint will now purchase blanks, plain discs, which have not been struck with the coin design from abroad when stocks run out. Uh, and so that means that they're going to go through what they've already uh, produced already and start striking those coins. And it doesn't say of anything about precious metals like gold and silver, but my guess is it probably uh, also applies to those as well. But some of this may just be for base metal coins, but it is set to import the blanks from countries such as Germany and Turkey and will only imprint them uh, from, from its site and land stand rather than making them from scratch, a source inside of the Royal Mint has said. And there's a reason for this, and we'll get to that in a moment. It comes along news that the Treasury has placed no new orders with the Royal Mint for one or two pence coins this year due to a decline in cash use. So that's part of the problem. People aren't using as many coins these days. Uh, and it's a problem not just unique to the United Kingdom. Other nations as well, including the United States, we see it less and less. Uh, even though there has been a study that young people actually have increased use in pocket change here in the United States. But that's one study, and who knows how accurate it is. But currently, the Royal Mint buys steel, which workers at the factory roll to the correct gauge press into blanks and plate with copper or nickel. But it will no longer do so and is now seeking to sell its facilities and produce coin blanks uh, or to produce coin blanks. This is uh, what, the, what, the, uh, what is understood by this, by this is money. Uh, they've said that they won't take on any oh, more overseas orders but are still to supply the UK market. The insider told this is money. But they won't have the facilities to make their own blanks. They'll be supplied from elsewhere and stamped in the mint. So in other words, much like Sunshine Minting does with the, uh, with the Silver Eagle, they're going to provide blanks and then the Royal Mint will strike those blanks or produce planchets from those blanks and then stamp them at their facility in Wales. Uh, so at that part won't change. Now, obviously, we'll have to meet specifications uh, for what the Royal Mint desires, 
But, you know, we'll see. Will they have trouble finding those suppliers? Who knows? Will the Sunshine Mint be one of those that may provide those blanks? That'll be a very interesting thing to, to see how that occurs. Uh, the person wanted to remain anonymous because they are a current employee of the Royal Mint. So this has been revealed that the Royal Mint will set up gold separation facility in the two plants where the raw coins were previously produced. So they're changing. They're going to be a retrofitting into a essentially a, a gold recycler from circuit boards and the like. It will see staff who used to produce coins diverted to breaking up circuit boards as the mint moves towards gold recovery from phones and laptops. They're ramping up the gold recovery business slowly, the insider said. To me, that's not what a, what a mint should do. I think the mint should just stick to uh, producing coins. And that's just my view. But hey, um, to me, they're, they're competing with the private sector. But hey, you folks in the UK, you do what you want. But to me, I would be protesting that. Uh, as part of the shift towards a gold recovery, 200 staff have been offered positions in the gold recycling plant, avoiding redundancies. However, the insider told This Is Money that upwards of 120 staff have left the mint as part of an early release scheme offering a full year salary up to 30,000 pounds. Those who remain, <clears throat> he said, are on reduced shifts but will be paying their full salary up to December. I said the plants, furnaces, and presses to plate and cut out the coin blanks are set to be shut down. The only coinage machining machinery they are keeping are the coin presses where they stamp the coins. Of the 40 or so presses currently used by the Royal Mint, just two or three will be retained to press coins when demand requires in order to supply the UK market. These will be located in the museum which sits alongside the Royal Mint South Wales site so tourists can see coins being made according to the source. Commemorative coins will be pressed there and they are set to be switched to produce coins for circulation when the need arises. They are moving the commemorative coins to the presses in the Mint experience so that the presses are still running there. If they need UK coins and they will have to stamp them on those same presses he added. A spokesperson for the Royal Mint told This Is Money, we remain fully committed to making the UK's coinage, which has been at the heart of the Royal Mint for 1,100 years. We have the facilities and capability to manufacture coins uh, and all of, of all denominations, he says there, whenever they are needed. Um, and we continue to work closely with His, Majest His Majesty Treasury to meet demand from UK cash centers and they're going to be taking on demand from uh, circuit boards now in short order apparently according to the latest report here so in april the mint revealed it will no longer produce overseas coins despite having done so for almost 700 years and i missed that story but that's pretty big news as well now what is part of this uh this change it is because of the decline of change of cash abuse is in the United Kingdom. As the oldest company in the United Kingdom, the Royal Mint has been producing coins for more than 1,100 years, as we've uh, noted here. However, just 12% of the transactions last year were made using cash, according to UK Finance, with as many as 39% of people living largely cashless. Even so, 2.6% of the population still relies on cash as their main method of payment. It's sad. It's the way the world is going, the source said. People are using fewer and fewer coins. If people see that the Royal Mint is being shut down, they may start using coins again. I don't think that's going to change. I mean, most people really don't give two poopies about the Royal Mint, is my guess. Um, once the facilities are broken down and gone, they'll find it very hard to start them back up. That's for sure. The Royal Mint's currency arm made losses of 13.1 million pounds in 2022 to 2023, up from 4.5 million the year before. Mint employees have been told to expect a $30 million loss or pound loss this year, the source reported. None of us can work out how there will be such a large loss, the source said. The source said the decision means mints melting, rolling and blanking plant and its annealing 
pickling and plating plant will both be shut down by the end of the year. So they're not going to even anneal and create planchets. So in real, in reality, they're going to be um, supplied with the actual finished planchets. And I don't even know that the United States Mint, I think the United States Mint has their, they do their own planchets. And of course, I think for their circulating coins, they create their own blanks, but I could be wrong there about that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting and intriguing thing here. It comes on the back of, of reports uh, that the Treasury has placed no new orders on one or two cent coins in the coming years due to uh, increasing reliance on cashless payments around the country. The Treasury has also ordered no new coins of any kind to be minted this year. Wow, no new coins to be minted this year of any sort. That is something else. So there you go, folks. So if you're living in the United Kingdom, well, you might want to stock up, man, just, you know, I mean, you know, it, you know, treasure your coins. I'll just say that. Not not to say that they're going to be worth a whole lot of money, but you get my point. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I apologize that I did not provide you with an English accent, but that's all right. I can get you an Australian one. Have a nice evening and a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch, even if it's not evening. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.